going to talk about visionary leadership. What is visionary leadership and where can you see it and how can you use it to get your team on board? My name is Tineke Rense from Powerful Business Academy and I help businesswomen become the leaders in their industry. Now let's talk about visionary leadership. We all know what a vision is. And often mission and vision are mixed up. So I would rather say mission-oriented leadership. Because mission is, this is what you're here for. This is what you really want to achieve. This is what you want to accomplish. The vision is then the vehicle that you create, usually that's a business in a specific niche with a specific to topic on how you want to fulfill on that mission. But anyway, it is called visionary leadership, so let's just use that. What is the difference between visionary leadership and lots of other leadership styles? The visionary leader really has a vision, knows where she wants to go. She has that uh, image, she can see that that is where the business and the team is heading for. Does she know exactly how to get there? No, she doesn't. Does she know which steps she has to take to get there? No. Does she know which kind of people she needs to have on board? No, not yet. But here's the thing. She trusts. She knows, inner knowing, from her heart, that no matter what, and this is a commitment, no matter what is going to happen, she will fulfill on that big Three, it is going to happen. Now, when she has a team, there are things that are really important for her to do to get that team on board. And usually you see this kind of leadership with startups. It's an amazing vibe. There's a lot of creation. There's a lot of collaboration. There's a lot of brainstorm. And it creates an, an, an amazing atmosphere. People want to be there. Yes, it's tiring. Yes, it's long hours. Yes, there's a lot of insecurities. Yes, there's also uh, setbacks. But the vibe and the energy are so amazing that your team will want to be there. And that is important for you, that you can create that atmosphere and you cannot do that alone you will have need to have your team on board now how do you do this have a lot of brainstorming sessions with your team make sure that whatever they come up with it is never turned down as this is crazy we're not going to do that be open explore trust your team and it's not you that is ultimately going to make the decisions. It's the collaboration, the team that is going to make a decision. Yes, you have the final vote because it is your business. Always you have a final vote. Just be careful how you want to use that. Um, because you want to reward the team for their effort. Okay, and I know this is not always easy, especially when you're in business for a long time and you work with young people and a new team. They often come up with ideas that you already tried and didn't work. I've had that. But guess what? Different people, different circumstances, different era, so maybe it now does work. You are different than when you initiated it. So let's be open, okay? Your team has to be able to work outside the box. So there are no clear set guidelines how to get there. There's not a structure. So it's, it's for certain people, this is not a safe place to work. 
if they always like to be in control, if they know a day ahead or a week ahead or a month ahead what they need to do, that is not possible with a visionary leader. A visionary leader is in the moment and expects from the team that they can also be with that. The visionary leader gets an idea and all of a sudden he or she calls the team together and says, listen, this is the next step. How are we going to go there? What are we going to do? Who has ideas? Well, it takes some patience of your team. It takes a lot of flexibility of your team. And if they can be there, that is exactly the vibe we were talking about in the beginning. That's when extraordinary things will happen. Because then they are all aligned. They're all in this together. There is a collective group energy. And energy is amazingly strong to co-create with the universe. To create coincidences, synchronicities. They are no coincidences. All right? So the team has to be able to trust. To trust you, to trust the other team members, to trust the process and to tune in to that vision. And know, also know, just as you as the leader, that no matter what, it is somehow going to work. And when someone has an off day, the rest of the team is there to support her or him. When someone has a great day, you catch the rest of the team and make sure that the energy and the vibe is there again. And that you all go for your vision. This is totally different than working with standard operation procedures. Working with delegation and protocols. Working with systems. Because you never know in the morning what's going to happen during the day. But the, and, and this, to the, the masculine uh, entrepreneurs uh, amongst us, this might seem extremely chaotic. Well, yeah, it might come across like that. But there's always the focus on the big vision. So there's always direction. There's always guidance from the leader and also from the unknown. Like I said, the coincidences, the universe. It is different and it may work a lot better. Because when coincidences start to happen, you collapse time. Things might move a lot faster. You might jump from here to there in just a couple of days. And it might have taken you a year otherwise. That is what is possible when you lead like this. But you will have to be very congruent with your team and the rest. Uh, the team uh, has to be congruent with the vision. And you will have to do a lot of personal leadership work. Because you will have to make sure that you can contain everything within the team. You're the safe haven for them. Can you do that? Can you be that person? It's not about your pity patty in your head. It's about tuning into the vision and make sure you'll get there, no matter what. But not in a rough way, not in a harsh way, no matter what. In a loving way, no matter what. And that's the big difference between masculine and feminine. So you might start your meetings with a mindfulness exercise to tune into the empty space within your brain where you can make the connections with the outside world, with the other people's connections, vibrations. Maybe you'll call it meditation. It is an amazing way to lead your team. And it does require uh, of your team that they can be with that. So I hope you understand how important that is. Now, 
if you want to become a leader in your industry, and you really see all the things that you want to change that can be so much better, and I know for a fact that this is the case with many women, all the clients I work with, they really want to make a big change, a big impact, and change an industry. They want to change how things are being done right now and create a better future. Let's schedule a 15 minute call. 15 minutes of your time, 15 minutes of my time. What can we co-create in those 15 minutes? It's going to be inspiring. I can guarantee you that. And who knows? what's going to happen after that. I don't know. I trust the best for you, the best for me will happen. And I don't know yet what that will be. And that's the beauty, isn't it? Next week there will be another video. Do subscribe to my YouTube channel, Powerful Business Academy. There's lots of videos about female entrepreneurship, leadership, personal leadership, business scaling. Check it out. Bye bye for now.